in terms of face-to-face campaigns, you have not ruled out anything. But what is the status of discussions? Because previously you said a ban is possible. You also said na some form of limited face-to-face campaigns are uh, is possible. What's right. the status of discussions? Well, I, I I don't know that I actually said that a ban is possible. In fact, if I did, though, I would like to cor- correct that by saying that an outright ban would be unlikely, right? It would be unlikely. The reason is, is simple. The digital divide is simply too broad to, to, to totally remove the possibility of, of uh, in-person campaigning. However, there will be strict limitations, uh, at least in guidelines, uh, on the conduct of in-person campaigning. For instance, uh, traditionally, we allow as many people as possible to join a rally. That can't happen anymore. There will have to be an attendance limit. Um, Again, traditionally, once they're in the rally, they're pretty much free to do whatever they want. Again, that cannot happen anymore. There will have to be strict uh, guidelines on on distancing. One of the more, I guess, one of the more in-your-face changes that we're proposing is that we're proposing that food no longer be served at these events, that eating be prohibited from uh, from these rallies. Again, it, it, the logic is simple. If you can eat at the rally, then you take your mask off at the rally and then you spread droplets around, right? So, so it, it's a very common sense sort of regulation to say that you can't eat at the rally, right? So this is where we're going. Uh, this is the nature of, of, the, of the regulations that we're looking at, obviously, we're going to discourage people from shaking hands and, and, and shaking babies. So, waganon, right? I mean, uh, and people will, and, and politicians will have to accept that. I guess what we have to make very clear from the very beginning is that these rules are meant for the safety of the voter rather than the convenience of the politician. So, if there's a conflict, in, in interest between the convenience of a politician and the safety of the voter, we're going to weight it towards the voter. And I assume, uh, Director, there is a time limit to these uh, campaign rallies, na to, if ever. Um, we'll, see if that's, we'll see if that's necessary. It's um, more important the attendance limits, I think. Um, because... If there are like three of you and then you stay there all night, that's not going to be very unsafe. But if you, have a, if you have a lot of people, then it doesn't matter how quickly you're over. It doesn't matter how quickly you conclude the gathering. If there's a lot of you, then that's still dangerous. So it's more on the quantity or the number of people in the gathering. Director, when can we expect Comelec to release uh, formal guidelines on that? Is a bang timetable? Well, definitely before October, uh, we want we want the the guidelines to be out while the candidates are still preparing for the campaign period. Campaign period starts on February seven. Uh, I'm sorry, February eight, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but but uh, hindi naman tayo pwedeng maglabas ng guidelines two weeks before the start of campaigns. So, so let's hope for uh, last quarter. Best guess. October.